Hello everybody, welcome to the Devolver Digital Max Pass Showcase. Uh, I'm going to be your host right now, Alec Bobko, and we are joined for, by Alex from Press YYZ and Chance Carter, who is having a little bit of technical issues, but he's still trying to be here. Thank you What's up, Al Bob? I am quite excited for what we have in store here. I'll say that to begin with. Mm -hmm. It's a little bit hard to put thoughts together because this Devolver Digital opening right here is, it's quite something. Yeah. Yeah. So, so is it just gonna be just the three of us? Yes. Yeah, it will okay. still be just the three of us. So I'm the fun one that's late to the party. I guess so. Well, we're all now, late because Ubisoft went long, so. <laughs> yeah. I was trying to catch some of that on my way home from work. It seemed like it was a good one. Yeah, it was a pretty even keel one. Nothing like it, was, it had no lulls, so it had some good stuff in it, I thought. It was better than that long one yesterday, then, is what I'm catching. Yeah. So, I mainly have not played as many Devolver Digital games as I feel like I should have had played to be guest hosting a Devolver Digital press conference. Um, mm -hmm. But, what few Devolver Digital games I have played, I've enjoyed quite a bit in the past. I really enjoyed yeah. that Pigeon Dating Simulator, Had a Full Boyfriend. Oh, I, haven't, uh, I haven't played that. I also enjoyed How to Full Boyfriend Holiday Star, which was the extremely linear How to Full Boyfriend holiday themed spin off. Uh, and what else? I, there are like a couple of other Devolver digital games that aren't immediately coming to mind, but I play them because they've been made available via PlayStation Plus or some other service of that nature. Yep. This is art. This is, this is painting with light. This is yeah, I've played. Was it Ape Out? That was a fun one. Probably one of my favorites oh, yeah. is Katana Zero. Oh, yeah. So. Those are good ones. Yeah. <laughs> Those are some words. <laughs> yes, they are. Something stunning, something new, but not too new, but new enough so that it seems new to those know-it-all, know-nothings in the know, you know? Actually, ma'am, I think... No. No, no, no. Record scratch. What? Who are you and why are you making noises? Record scratch. <laughs> ma'am, uh, Nina Struthers, I'm an adjunct under-executive on the marketing team. I'm gunning for synergy officer one day. Why are you pouring the coffee? Because we need coffee. Grab it, Hackjaw. Nina, is it? Put the coffee down and talk at my face. Well, uh... The thing of it is, um, a few of us were talking and... Monetization as a service. See? What he said. That's got to be the most ridiculous... Let's fucking do it. <laughs> All right, I'm looking forward to this. For four decades, and counting, Devolver Digital has been at the absolute leading edge of... Oh uh, man, that guy juggling in the background there. I can't remember the last time that I saw a juggler in real life. This is one of those videos where you're going to want to probably rewind it a lot because there's a lot of interesting stuff going on in the background. Mm -hmm. Did they, like, my assumption though is that this has to be some sort of set. Like, they don't know, they, nobody actually works here, right? That would have to be my guess. I mean, in which case, like, shout out to Devolver Digital for doing all this, because this is so elaborate. Oh, for sure. Um, I'm, did Devolver Digital publish uh, the game where you're, like, the giant, like, s splurgy monster that's, like, slowly absorbing other monsters? Carry on? Carry on? Yeah, I, I was going to say, so. is, that, is that the monster from Carrion in the background? It might be, yeah. I feel like, so like, my my initial thought is that, oh, this is all like one shot, but my mind is telling me that there's probably some very strategically done cuts in oh, some of the I'm quick sure, transitions yeah. here or there. Oh, 
All right. Let's see them games. Is Jason that... Momoa. It or just a very looks... good look alike. Yeah. <laughs> Razor-edged industry shock jive that has served to convert what was traditionally a one-time purchase into a potentially lifelong chain ball commitment to reoccurring payments for video game sit. Now, let's be real deal about this. Most of you don't even enjoy anymore. The woman on the right is also Devolver likes to take real jacked. She probably works at a CrossFit. You know, take the leap, push the envelope, toad the wet sprocket. I feel like the Capri Sun though. That guy on the right. Right. I like. I feel like it. Can, that can't be Jason Momoa because I feel like they would have Jason Momoa saying something. True. But I also would not. I would not put it past Evolver Digital to be like, "Hey, we're gonna have a Jason Momoa cameo in our video and have him not actually say anything or mm -hmm. flex his star power." Uh. Man, I, I really don't appreciate vaccines. I mean, I let me, let me rephrase that. Vaccines are good. I had my first COVID vaccine a couple of weeks ago. I don't like getting shots. I don't like hypodermic needles getting stuck in me. And that was I understand that. difficult to watch. Yeah. Uh, Credit competency, work history, genealogical strength vector, total load weight. You know, as much as I don't like the process of getting uh, injections in me, I, I totally would be down to get a couple of them if I get to have some chili dogs at the end. Can't remember the last time I've had a chili dog. <laughs> yeah, chili dogs are it, though. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'm actually going to make a, not right away after this conference, but later today, I'm going to make myself a homemade pizza, Ooh. which is not really like a chili dog. But I mean, there are some similar components there. There's like a, a sausage like meat that you slice up and put on it. There's some cheese. There's um there aren't any like whole onions in it, but there is some onion powder in the Italian seasoning that's in the dough. Okay. So yeah, well, thank you for coming to my TED talk on how pizza is kind of like chili dogs. <laughs> I mean, we're here for the chaotic because we wouldn't be doing a Devolver digital watch along if we weren't for the chaos. Check a look. Check a look. Like you. I want a, an actual... Go ahead. I was saying, we were just watching your watch eat a chili dog. I want to see like an actual like video game uh, executive be like, let's check a look. Right. Gary. Is that a world premiere? Premium purchase. I mean, the jury is out, but this could actually be a legit. Yeah, this is a legit thing. Mm -hmm. <sighs> okay. I did cool. not play uh, the Insomniac game set in uh, Tsushima, Ghost of Tsushima. I'm like, oh, I know so if much. I can remember the name of the island it takes place on, I can remember the rest of the title. I know that game had a um, like old school Japanese cinema filter mode. Mm -hmm. um, uh, but this looks like it's a step above it. Trek Yomi? Was that what it was called? Trek to Yomi. Trek to Yomi. Oh my Trek god, of Yomi. course it uses the wrong camera. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, oh no, Chance turned invisible. <laughs> Uh, so I'm using the, um, hold on one second. Oh, this is that like Fall Guys. I yeah. Th this game. was this was shown off uh, the day before, right? Last 
last week, early this week sometime. Yeah, I was showing off one of those conferences. It looks cool. Mm-hmm. Okay, I'm good to go. Hey, then. cool. Sorry that took so long, guys. Hey, no worries. I'm just glad so you. How did you solve? How did? Do you know how you solved your audio issues? Um, yeah, I logged in on the uh, web version, and so oh. I had to exit out of my app and everything, and I'm just using the web. That version. works. So yeah. if anything gets wonky, I apologize. You I might want to maybe like uninstall and reinstall the app later on, see if that helps. Yeah, that's what I was thinking, but it was like, ah, no, I'm already 15 minutes late. I can't, can't yeah. make this go any longer. <laughs> but I think I should be Fake. good to go. Am I coming through okay? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, perfect. Alrighty. I'm good whenever you guys are. Oh, we've been recording, so. <laughs> oh, you have? Okay. <laughs> perfect, perfect. I had work this morning and I left like five hours early to make sure I wasn't late to this. And of course, I still manage. <laughs> no still manage. worries. Alrighty. Apologies for the widget. I can't do anything about that. Do either of you guys <laughs> understand how the hype train works on Twitch? Oh, yeah. No. It's um, I think it's three people have to sub or give 100 bits within a certain amount of time. Mm -hmm. It has to be three separate people. So after that happens, so like, how does that affect the rest of the, everyone else going forward? Like, does that like increase? To it. it doesn't increase. I mean, it, in, the more people add to it um, either through subs, bits, whatever, um, it adds to the level of the hype train. And basically, the higher the hype train, the cooler the emotes that people can get from it. Oh, That's, um, I mean, it's not super exciting for me and the kind of content uh, I produce, but like, that was the most coherent explanation of the hype train I've heard yeah. thus far. So I appreciate that. Oh, yeah, no problem. Every time it goes up while I'm watching some streamer, I'm like, so what does this do again? Yeah, and it's then more to it always seems to be a good thing. Audience participation. Yeah. Okay. Because all yeah. that is mostly going. And I think while you have a hype train going, you're one of the few that's on the front page of Twitch. Oh, shit. Okay. And this is already the conference, right? Yes. Okay. They haven't shown Miami or us. Hotline Miami? Yeah, Hotline Miami 3 yet, right? No, they have not. Okay. That this and then... Cool, though. Yeah, this looks really good. I mean, I'm hoping for a Katana Zero too. so that's, that's my hope. I really liked Carry On. And so mm -hmm. just like that, like kind of fun. And I really liked the art style. Like, I don't want to call it gross, but gross. Right. How gross it was. Ooh, that guy okay. got got. Using his shotgun shell. Shotgun shell. Wizard with a gun. <laughs> yeah. Oh. I really appreciate that name. Yeah. Let's me know What's exactly what it sandbox? is. I, I don't know if this is true, but I remember reading that in Star Wars, like the reason why the Jawas have glowing eyes is because they're actually wearing like a, like a hel helmet headpiece or something. And the eyes that you perceive on them are actually like these like glass, like, glowing beads or whatever hmm. that makes sense now that you say that mm -hmm. i didn't yeah. think that eyes glowed I, I for some reason thought they were wearing goggles or something yeah but i never actually thought about it apparently like underneath their cloaks there's no like actual visual reference of this on any star wars wiki or anything but apparently the jawas look like giant rats or something <laughs> interesting 
Oh, is this the crow game that they showed in a previous? Oh. Maybe I'm thinking of another game. Is that a crow? It kind of there were devolvers coming out, or there was a game that was shown in a previous conference that was like uh, it was like a crow. And it it was looks. Like, yeah, it, it, I mean, it's kind of hard to see. Oh, here we go. That's a better look. Yeah, it is. Yeah, this, is a, this is the game I thought it was. This, Although this it looks, one looks really fun. It, it looks more like that one character from My Hero Academia. Oh, oh what's his name? Tokoyami? Yeah. Getting a lot of Hades vibes from this. Yeah. Now, if I'm not mistaken, this is the game where you can, like, move the platforms. Is that what I'm thinking of? Thank you, my love. Death's Death door. Death's that's right. door. Oh, okay. That has Xbox. made my list. It seems like it's you know very Xbox exclusivity. Yeah, it's Xbox and PC. So Game Pass maybe. played. And then made public claims <laughs> about the game's quality in order to substantiate their place in online conversations about whether or not an indie game is still indie if it has a publisher. Man, I can't remember the last time I've. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Have you guys done that? Don't tell yes. me. Too many times I've bought games and never played them. <laughs> oh, man. The Mad Max never... game is one of my like biggest regrets on not playing. I would I never. You can't tell me you, you can't tell me you haven't done that with like Steam sales or stuff like that. <laughs> when games are like two bucks, you're like, yeah, why not? <laughs> yeah, I mean, I'm joking, of course. I um, I have like, what is it like, twelve thousand games from that one uh, itch.io sale. Oh yeah, yeah same. Remember that like one? Five bucks or whatever. <laughs> like something crazy for that amount of games. Devolver just has um, such good press conferences. They're so self-aware. Yes. That's part of the reason why I'm like, I don't care if I'm going to be the only one that's on this. I want to react to this. <laughs> From the creator of Pony Island. Okay. In card -based Black card-based Odyssey. I'm only interested in card-based games if it's Kingdom Hearts, uh, Chain of Memories. Chain of Memories, yep. I tried that uh, Slay the Spire. That was really that's a really fun game. I have not played it. Pretty sure it's on Game Pass. So I'm gonna give it a try. It's, it's really fun. It's like a roguelike, but it's also based on all the all cards. So hmm. uh, there, there's a lot going on in this game. Sacrifices were made. Too spooky for me. I'm out. Yup. <laughs> oh, now there's 8-bit found footage. FMV style. Inscription. That's a good name. Yeah. Especially with that Y. I don't know if oh, that's a inscription, but I'm into it, that. It's like, it seems like if I had to qualify in a genre, it's like a video game escape room kind of game. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that makes sense. Purchase. Get me with the premium purchase every time. <laughs> hey, kid, do you love video games? I'm a grown man. Uh huh. Do you love video games? Yes, I play them quite a bit. Do you want to pay for video games? Not at all, no. What if you could play a game for free, but then Link would charge you for cool stuff and make you watch ads for minimal benefit to you, the consumer? Well, that doesn't sound great. Reprioritize your life. Let it consume your very 
This has like an Ed Ed and Eddie style. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. And I'm into it. I was thinking like, what, what does this specific cartoon resemble? All right, so that transition they got from YouTube. <laughs> I, uh, I I have used that transition. That was very cute. If I could be very slightly critical over a game that's largely meant to be a joke, I would have liked it if they had and said at the end of the trailer, "Hey, available right now," because I would have downloaded it right now. Oh yeah, and shown it off on stream. Oh man, did, did he just? Microwave that chili dog. He keeps pulling more out too. Dang. Yo, chili dogs been on my Twitter feed a lot today, and then they're in this, making me really want some some chili dogs. It was like a TikTok. It wasn't. Okay. Jesus. <laughs> Nina's new name is Sonic with all those corn okay. with all these right. chili dogs. <laughs> Let's talk about subscriptions for a moment. The subscription service is an instrument of monetization from days gone when your grandparents wanted to try a new cheese each month and your uncle wanted to look at photos of naked ladies from the comfort of his own. Time. That guy in the background is very much me. <laughs> if ever there's some sort of event where there's free food at it, I'm just going ham. Mm. I mean, it's me circa uh, the year 2019 and before, I guess. Mm. Devolver, though, aims to return subscription-based addiction back to its more tangible roots with a premium purchase title available only in this. The physical plane of actual, real, for real existence. <laughs> is that? Goddamn right it is. Introducing Demon Throttle. Hey, it's a Switch game. Gato Roboto. It is coming oh. to the Nintendo Switch as a physical box set and only a physical box set through our good friends at Special Reserve Games. Oh, you heard me right. Demon Throttle will not, I repeat, will not be available in any digital format and is only available for you to purchase as a retail product and put on oh, your shelf shit. to never play or to sell. Oh, that's really interesting if it's true. You missed out on its initial <laughs> offer starting... Uh, pe people will rip it right away <gasps> shadow drop noise they got like they did everything that they need to to make me want to buy something it's useless oh, yeah. and it's severely low quantity i don't know what else to say i i think that eb games here in canada is like closed by this point in the day but if it was open i might go over and see if they have this game that they just announced in store right now mm-hmm or something. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> Man, that, that green is like puke green. I feel like something about this game looks way more like old school NES games than a lot of other games that have gone with an 8-bit aesthetic. Mm-hmm. And I think it's partially it's the aspect ratio, but I think also like there's just something with the filter on this game that makes it look crappier in a good way. Right. So that was a game that wasn't supposed to come out and it actually looked really good. Right. That's mm -hmm. is the game that they said wasn't coming out, right? Oh, interesting. All right. 458. So we've got two more minutes ish, possibly until either the press conference is over or you guys decide to switch over to whatever y'all have next. Oh, Do you think no, that we're, we're going to get one? Oh, really? No, we're not well, reacting. You guys are not reacting to the next thing. thing no, we're going until this is done because we decided to do Devolver instead of switching, cutting halfway through a press conference. And... Right. Okay. Here. Her side shave. Videotape. I dig it. Very, very classy. Hey, though, is that there is one and 
only one, and we well, sell it to one buyer. We put only the entire thing <laughs> just the one. Just the one. Just the one. Sell it. Okay, and since there's only one, and the buyer like keeps this. it, and we broke the little tab on the inside so you can't copy it, it is right. non fuckwithable. Here. <laughs> a non fuckwithable tape. Okay. NFT oh my god. Short. It's tape, so it's gonna be fair. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. That's great. Online for the first Devolver Max Pass Plus Triple Platinum Elite Gold Star Magnum Double XL tier subscriber to go to DevolverMaxPassPlus.com and buy it. Okay, it is it is totally non fuckwithable. It does does no damage to the environment, to the energy grid, or the, the global technology supply chain because it is it's just I mean it's just this whole tape. Right? That, that Caleb found in, in, a, in, a, in a I had a I was in a high school where we had like projectors that you could call down from the ceiling to watch movies on. But I had one teacher that insisted on it instead bringing in the TV tower, which was not a good decision. She insisted like, oh man, the, the visual quality on the TV is way better, but it's like, but it's also way smaller so we can barely see it. And we can also barely hear it because it's a TV tower. If you if you work at a school and you have access to a oh, like screen projector you can call down, use that instead. <laughs> Moral of the story. Yeah. yeah I, I guess that thing was the carrion thing, right? Mm -hmm, that's what it looked like. I mean, hey, this more or less ended on time. If we want, we can go and watch the Gearbox show after this. I stopped playing Borderlands 3 because I was really disappointed in the way that the mech character felt, and I was kind of turned off by Randy Pitchford's antics, but I won't mind reacting to it if you want someone else to react to it with. I was probably just going to watch it myself. Right. I've been reacting that... since Ubisoft, so... You know <laughs> yeah, what? I, re all day, dude. I, I really respect that. I think, and obviously, reacting, reacting to these press conferences... Tomorrow, so. Re reacting to press conferences with friends is a lot of fun, but I think that there's also something to be said about just sitting by yourself in your room on your bed mm -hmm. watching a press conference without anyone else. Jeez, what were they doing to that guy? Yeah, That reminds me of, um, I love Apex Legends, but um, Octane, mm -hmm. one of my favorite characters, characters in that game, likes to stick a syringe in his head from time to time, yep. and I never liked that. Well, that guy's skilled. Well, there we go. Hotline Miami. I bought the first two because I thought I'd get the third one for free. Just on the off chance I could get it for free. <laughs> Their Twitter came out the with that. Guy. And then afterwards, they're like, it doesn't exist. I was like, I'm still not risking mm -hmm. it. <laughs> did they show Phantom Abyss? Yes, they did. That was like just okay. when you were coming back. They're showing okay. that. Okay. Look pretty good. Yeah. Okay, because that is the one that I, I am pretty stoked right. for that one. All right. Well, that was well, a fun guys, way to spend a half hour. Yeah. So, yeah, so that we got um, a couple of different games. Um, probably my favorite is still Phantom Abyss. That looks awesome. Like Fall Guys and Indiana mm -hmm. Jones combined. Mm -hmm. looks really, I feel really like fun. they're going to have to make the reward for getting to the end of the abyss extra special if they want to make it all worth it, though. Not to say that mm -hmm. people won't just gladly plunge to their deaths regardless, regardless of whatever the reward is at the end of the tunnel. But I'm hoping that we get something real cool, like maybe you get your own verified Twitter account, not your Twitter account gets verified. You get a new Twitter account that's already verified. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Uh, so uh, chance what was some of your favorite uh i've been looking at uh death's door that was announced earlier in the week and that is one that i'm really really vibing with um i'm usually mm -hmm. not into the top down like what is the 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 angled top down do you know what i'm talking about asymmetric i'm not usually very good at those asymmetric yeah. Um, usually not very good at those, but mm -hmm. that one, for whatever reason, has enough where like you can move the platforms and everything and mm -hmm. kind of take them on a wild goose chase and then like circle back around and you don't have to kill anybody. 
where they gave you that kind of like freedom and like the platform is kind of like you can move all of them. I don't know. I, I, it seems different and super interesting. So that's, that's definitely made my mm -hmm. list. That, that was the one that I was looking at. Anything to add to you, Alex? Uh, you know, I'm definitely intrigued by Inscription, the uh, mm -hmm. escape room uh, esque game that we saw a sneak peek of. Certainly looks like a interesting cross media experience. Um, Death Store, uh, the crow game where you play as yep. the crow mm -hmm. guy from My Hero Academia, also very beautiful looking. Um, you know, like, like I said a little bit earlier on in the presentation, like I, I played my share of Devolver G Digital games in the past. I don't play them so frequently that I could call myself a Devolver Digital stand, but uh, th there's some real cool stuff uh, at work here, and I'm, I'll, I'll, I'll definitely keep my eyes out for some of them as they release. To piggyback off that real quick, Devolver has been one that I've been like hearing more and more as the years go on. And I feel like within the last two years, they've really like solidified a place in the gaming industry, maybe even longer than that. But over the last two years specifically, I've noticed just they're coming out with bangers and the press conferences are funny mm -hmm. and like totally tongue in cheek. Very much my style of press conferences where it's just like, come on, you know why, why you're here. Let's make it fun. So exactly. I really, act, what I caught, I loved, loved. I think that a lot of bigger developers could take some keys from them. Mm -hmm. Yeah, thank you guys so much for joining me. Um, I say, Alex, if you want to start off, tell, let people know where they can find you. Yeah, sure. Uh, you can find me on Twitter at Alex Kozina, A-L-E-X-K-O-Z-I-N-A. -A. Uh, every Tuesday and every Friday, I host a cooking show on Twitch, Cozy Bear's Cooking, over on twitch.tv slash Cozy Bear Live, uh, where I cook up all manner of scrumptious foodstuffs uh, for your eyeballs and ear holes to enjoy and for my mouth to pleasure. Uh, I also host uh, Press YZ, a Canadian gaming podcast. Uh, we go live with new episodes live on twitch.tv uh, slash Press YZ at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time every Wednesday. So go check that out as well. We're going to be doing some uh, live reactions to some of Microsoft's and Square Enix and Nintendo's E3 press conferences over the course of the next two days as well. Uh, I said two days. I meant to say few days. Uh, so please go and check those out as well. And Chance. Um, you can find me at It's Perchance on Twitter, um, Twitch, and TikTok. Those are the main places I post. I don't have anything coming out immediately after this. Me and my wife are streaming Mass Effect and having a really good time with it. She's in love with Jack, and that was a surprise for me. So that's uh, really all I got going on right now. Thank you so much for having me on, Al. It was a pleasure. Sorry, it was kind of yeah, no hit or worries. miss there at the beginning, but you guys yeah. at Waypoint are some of my favorites. So thank you. It was an honor. Yeah, I want to echo that as well. Uh, this is a real cool opportunity. I had a lot of fun reacting to this thing, and I hope that we can do more stuff together in the future. Oh, for sure. And shout awesome. out to Chance because he does the he made the intro for Waypoint. So, yeah, you guys Thank need you so much anything for that. else? Yeah, dude, I uh, I owe you guys a a few uh, After Effects projects. So anytime you guys need anything else, just let me know. Will you do. guys have hooked me up with some freelance work. I'll say that. <laughs> <laughs> well thank you all so much for watching stay tuned tomorrow for our xbox square enix and wb games reactions till then awesome Ooh. see you later you guys have a good one